Ford might be doing something stupid with Zane Smith. Logan Sargent gets fired. Plus, let's look at my proposed layout for the Cincinnati street race. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. It's that time of the year again where acorns are on trees, squirrels are sitting outside my house, my neighbors have a greenhouse, and they are dropping their nuts onto the top of this greenhouse, and it's Chinese water torture. I'll be completely honest with you guys. I'm sitting in my office, and it's driving me absolutely mad. Let's talk about the actual news, though. So everything I've been hearing, everything most people have been hearing, is that Zane Smith is headed to Front Row Motorsports. On Friday, when he and Trackhouse officially and mutually agreed to part ways, it seemed like, yeah, that'll just clear the way now. I've been told that Front Row is ready to make an announcement uh, in sometime in the near future, and everything seemed to be lining up for Zane Smith to return back to Front Row Motorsports, where he won a truck championship at, where he ran six races at uh, in the Cup Series last year for them in Todd Gilliland's car. Well, maybe that's not happening now, or it's hit a bit of a, a roadblock because Kevin Harvick on his podcast this week said that it sounds like Ford might be blocking Zane Smith's return to Front Row Motorsports and the Ford camp because they're not happy with the way he left at the end of last year. It wasn't very nice, and it wasn't what Ford wanted, which is just the most absolute Ford move that they could possibly make. Ford has this long lineage of making really dumb driver decisions, right? Uh, they let Jeff Gordon go. Go, they let Casey Kane go. They didn't sign Kyle Larson. They didn't sign Kyle Busch. They let Chase Briscoe go now. And now they won't let Zane Smith come back because it seems like they want to make an example out of him. It's really stupid considering that their driver development pipeline over at Ford is drier than Sonoma in July. Yeah, sure. They signed Sheldon Creed and Sam Mayer for the Haas factory team, but those guys are both bringing money over to those rides from what I've been told. So it's not like they're developing these drivers. Zane is a guy that they've put money into to develop over at Front Row uh, in the truck series with the hopes of moving up to the cup series and now ford's gonna maybe get in the way because he didn't stick around and you know fiddle around in the truck series for another year what do you expect him to do become the next ben rhodes like the kid wants to advance he has a team in track house that's willing to put him in the cup series and he didn't take or they're not happy about it so denny hamlin on his podcast said that zane skipped over a couple of offers to take the track house offer maybe he did have an offer from ford to go somewhere maybe he had an offer to go to a rick Ware racing maybe who knows maybe he had an offer to go to wood brothers don't think so, but maybe he did. Who knows at this point? And maybe Ford's just not happy about that. But when you have a talented race car driver, and Zane Smith has certainly looked a lot better in the second half of this year than he did in the first half of this year, wanting to come back into the fold, wanting to come back to the team that he's run well with, why wouldn't you go ahead and take that? Instead, Chandler Smith's name has been linked to this ride now. And do I think Chandler's going to get it? Uh, Bob Pockers has been mentioning Chandler Smith's name for this ride uh, for a few weeks now in his Silly Season update. I haven't heard much about it. Chandler doesn't have as much money behind him as he once did, which is, I think, half the reason why he's probably out at Gibbs at the end of the year. So for Chandler, if that's the guy that they end up going with, that doesn't make much sense either. This is the guy that if he does take this front row motorsports ride and lands that, that will be his third different team with three different manufacturers in three years. And Ford apparently now just cares only about loyalty. This kid hasn't been loyal to anything, right? He's started over at college racing and bought himself out of his contract there because he wanted to go to Joe Gibbs racing because he thought that the pipeline to get to the cup series would be easier over there. Turns out it wasn't. And he was never going to be the top choice over there. Corey Heim is the prize possession in the TRD camp. Everybody else is just playing second fiddle, which is what Chandler would have become. And they decided not to go with him. Now he wants to get out of there and go over to somewhere and he wants to make it to the cup series. And honestly, don't think Chandler Smith is ready to go to the Cup Series. Yes, he has three NASCAR Xfinity Series wins. All three have come on flat tracks. If he can win on a mile and a half, then maybe we'll talk about it. But at this point, he seems really good on flat short tracks. Other than that, uh, not so sure about Chandler Smith up to this point. But if Ford really is blocking Zane Smith from going to Front Row Motorsports, I think that is a super short-sighted decision. I think that's a super emotional decision and one that isn't very smart in the long run. Letting Zane Smith come back is a win for Ford overall. But hey, I guess Front Row Motorsports moving to that tier one status means that their blue oval overlords uh, are going to have a say in what and who they put into their cars. Today's video is brought to you by Driven Sunglasses. Head over to drivensunglasses.com today. Use code BREAKHARD at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. Great sunglasses. I am very partial to the classic as well as the camber. Neither of them are in my office right now. They are both downstairs because I wear them on a daily basis. So head over to drivensunglasses.com today. Code BREAKHARD at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. 
Moving on to some other news, switching uh, gears from NASCAR over to Formula One. Logan Sargent has been fired, effective immediately from Williams F1. He will be replaced by an F2 driver named Franco Colapinto, Colapinto, however you want to pronounce that name, an Argentinian driver in Formula Two who currently sits uh, P6 in the driver's standing, has one win this season, uh, doing better than Kimi Antonelli as well as Ollie Behrman, and both of them are going to have Formula One rides next year, so I guess he has that going for him. For Logan, Writing was on the wall, right? Uh, yeah, we can start with the whole Formula One continues its crusade against Americans. Formula One hates Americans. Uh, Formula One just wants American money. I don't disagree with any of that. But when it comes to Logan Sargent, he certainly isn't the best driver this country has to offer. He's just the only one that was willing to play the game of trying to climb that European ladder, an arbitrary ladder at that, and made it to Formula One. Um I'll be honest, the kid's probably not even talented enough to win an IndyCar and just is what it is. Uh, for everybody that's like, oh, there's no such thing as a mid F1 driver, Logan Sargent's a mid F1 driver in a season and a half at Willings. He scored points just one time, which came in his home Grand Prix last year at the United States Grand Prix. So hats off to him for getting that accomplished. But he wrecks way too much. He writes off too many cars. Uh, he did get screwed over earlier this year at the Australian Grand Prix when uh, his teammate Alex Albon absolutely totaled his car and then took Logan's for the rest of the weekend. And Logan didn't get to start the Grand Prix, which I still think is a terrible decision uh, overall because I don't know if Albon actually even scored points that weekend. Regardless, for Logan Sargent, ah, he was never going to be back next year. He was never a guy that James Valls wanted in that car. They don't need Logan Sargent there. They don't need the little bit of money that he was bringing. They're going to be perfectly fine going forward. They signed Carlos Sainz for next year. So they're just cutting short the Logan Sar uh, Sargent experiment after a little over a season and a half with the team. I know people might be upset about it, might be shocked. It's not shocking. I think the only thing that is shocking is who they ended up putting in that car because all we had heard up to this point is that they were going to maybe get Liam Lawson on loan from Red Bull, maybe get Kimi Antonelli on loan from Mercedes, or possibly even get Mick Schumacher on loan as well. Listen, Logan Sargent rides off enough cars. Why would you put Mick Schumacher? And all that dude does is wreck race cars as well. No sense in getting rid of a guy that destroys a lot of cars for a guy that also destroys a lot of cars. So... Williams promoted from within their uh, driver academy, and they got Franco Colapinto, Colapinto to come over, and he's Argentinian. And if I've learned anything about the Argentinian fans this year dealing with Augustine Canapino in the uh, IndyCar series, don't, and nobody on track ever hit him, don't get hit by him because it will be your fault regardless. If he re-earns you, it's your fault for stopping. If he drives into the side of you, it's your fault for existing there. And certainly don't say anything negative about him on social media because the Argentinians will come at you. Their economy is in absolute shambles. They have nothing better to do than sit around and fire off mean things on the internet and wish death upon everyone. Let me know what you think about Zane Smith and Ford possibly blocking his move to FRM. Logan Sargent getting fired. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Break Hard Blog.